Welcome back to Colorful Queen Beauty. Um, today I'm going to be talking about my deep conditioning, protective styling, and growth regimen that I'm going to be doing for my hair. Those products that I am showing you from the Three Sisters of Nature, those are the products that I actually used in my hair to achieve this style that I am getting ready to apply my deep conditioner on top of. And as you can see, it has lots and lots of definition. Um, showing you the length that it is. It's a really good um, like style to do. Um, to start off with like wash and go has lots of definition. I kind of feel like I had too much definition. Um, it kind of gave me a little bit more of a hold than I wanted. So, um, but it, it all worked out good. Um, my hair felt a little bit dry and crunchy. So I'm used to having like really soft um, hair that I can actually touch that's touchable. It doesn't feel crunchy and dry. So I kind of couldn't wait to get this product out of my hair. But nevertheless, it was good. It's actually used to use it on my hair when my hair was very short. Um, and it worked very well as far as like keeping it, you know, in place and standing it up. And it just, it just stayed for a very long time. Now that my hair is long, I probably would use way less of the leave-in conditioner and the product itself, but it's a pretty good product. So yeah, I'm just parting my hair in three sections here, putting the big clips in, and I like to work in sections with my hair, especially the longer it gets, it gives me more control. So it, as you all know, this is a staple of mine, the Herbal Essence Hello Hydration. And this is a new staple, the Moroccan My Shine. Um, I was actually just trying to use this conditioner up but I do like it and as far as like a, a deep conditioner. And that's my overnight growth oil. I have two different growth oils. One is overnight and one is a, um, just one that I can put in my hair whenever. And that little blob that you've seen inside of there was aloe vera juice or gel mixed with neem oil or neem something. So uh, because it's, I'm, I'm assuming it's water based, I don't know, or that the aloe vera gel kind of acts like water so it doesn't really mix with the oil, but if you shake it up, it'll break it up into like a lot of little like pellets or little water bubbles or something inside the oil and it, and it goes in with the oil. So I like to use that with my deep conditioners and my other oil, I use it um, just in my hair, just in general. So I'll start off in the back part of my hair in three sections and I'm just going through because it was in a wash and go for about four or five days I think I'm just going through and putting the conditioner in I like to put it on dry hair because the conditioners have enough water in it to you know activate and give like the proper deep conditioning to me I don't like to put water in my hair first because I feel like water takes up a lot of space in my hair because it's so fine and um than the conditioner I feel like I don't get as deep of a con conditioner as I do if, if I was to you know if I was supposed to put water in it so I like to do it on top of dry hair uh, I feel like my hair receives the conditioner better then I'm just going through like breaking my hair up because it hadn't been combed so it was tangled just breaking through it getting the conditioner all throughout my hair and just run my fingers through it get all the tangles out fully detangling my hair and it looked like I was kind of pulling through it and being rough but I promise I wasn't and this is something that I've done all I lost count how many times I've been natural four or five times I've been natural this is something I've done um, the overnight deep conditioners every week I've done it when my hair was like super short super 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 short like an inch long I've done it because I like to um, take care of my hair and my scalp and make sure that I receive optimum growth and length retention and health of my hair. So I always try to take care of it no matter what length it is because it makes it easier to take care of. Your hair has better hair days. You know, it's just, you don't have to worry about anything when your hair is healthy. So I'm just taking that pointed tip of that bottle and just getting that oil down in my scalp. I didn't do too much because I don't want it to run out onto my pillow and seep out of my hair like it did before. My whole pillow was wet, my shirt was wet. I think I just used too much oil. Excuse me, I need a nap. So yeah, I'm just putting the conditioner in and I use the Herbal Essence Hello Hydration, the Herbal Essence Moroccan My Shine and the Rosemary Mint 
suave and I like that minty feel on my scalp because I feel like it helps stimulate growth and I put rosemary and peppermint oil and stuff like that in my growth oil too um, just to help bring a little bit of attention or stimulation to the scalp when trying to grow the hair. doing the same thing in all three sections just going through and finger detangling fully finger detangling my hair it was in that wash and go so it hadn't been combed for four or five days and it was a little tangled but it was work with a book kind of felt like I was putting a relaxer in my hair Kind of took me back to my relaxer days working that stuff through and putting it on my scalp like it's a relaxer and I've done like different types of deep conditioners like overnights I've done Shea Moisture I've done a Kintu I've done all different kinds and they're good, but I just always end up going back to the herbal essence. For some reason, I just like how that makes my hair feel and just the prolonged um, benefits of it throughout the week, like when I wear my wash and goes. It just makes my hair feel really good. It looks good. My curls clump very well. It keeps my hair moisturized and I just really love how that stuff moisturizes and my, I feel like my moisture levels are, I'm, I always get a chance to stay ahead of my moisture levels I don't ever have to worry about trying to catch up and um, like I'm never trying to restore my moisture levels or bring moisture back to my hair my hair stays moisturized pretty well because of this conditioner Also, I put my recipe for the growth oil, the overnight growth oil, and the regular growth oil. I'll put that all, um, I'll list those ingredients maybe towards the end. I don't like to put stuff down in the description box. I feel like people won't read it, but I'll try to find a little section in this video to list those ingredients. And if you're doing this you want your hair to pretty much be fully like you want it to be fully like you want the conditioner to be really really thick in your hair if you run into dry hair like dry patches of hair where there is like no conditioner you're going to run the risk of damaging your hair because the only reason why I can go through my hair like this so easily after a wash and go and not combing my hair for four or five days is because the conditioner gives me slip to go through my hair so you don't want to do this in, you, in your hair is like you getting dry patches like you really want to like pack that conditioner on very very well don't want to defeat the purpose of doing the deep conditioner by causing breakage And 
that is the finished result before I put my plastic cap and my bonnet on. And I am going to sleep in this plastic cap with the bonnet. And I, am, I didn't show it in the video, but I'm going to put a headband around my edges of the plastic cap to keep all the oils and stuff from seeping out at the bottom where all my hair is bunched up at when I lay on it. You'll actually see it in the morning the next day when I get ready to take it off before I step in the shower to do my co-wash. Um, you'll see when I have that headband on and I kind of pulled the plastic cap from underneath it so that the headband sits on top of the cap and closes it in so nothing will get out. And it works. So I think that's something I'm going to keep doing. And this, this plastic cap was all stretched out of shape because I tend to use them over and over and over again. I just rinse them out. I don't like throwing stuff away if I don't have to. So... I had to stick a bobby pin in there to make it work. And that's the bonnet. Chinese shop. Get it from Chinese shop. And those caps are just like regular processing shower caps from the Chinese shop. Alright, here is the next morning. That's that headband that I was telling you about. You know, keep it right there so that nothing seeps out of the cap. Hair is good and moisturized and soft. I love doing deep conditioners overnight. The overnight deep conditioners are like my best thing to do. It's so weird. I feel like when I put conditioner on my hair and sit under the dryer, like a hot dryer, I feel like it makes my hair straight and I like my shrinkage. So I probably have done a deep conditioner under the dryer probably once or twice. So I like to sleep in it. This is the uh, rice water that I was telling you about. Um, I pour it in that uh, sour cream cup and I dip my ends in it and I pour some over my hair. And then, um, so actually I do that after I do my co-wash and after I run through my herbal essence again to detangle. And then I do the rice water and I don't rinse it out, just whatever runs out, you know, that runs out and then I added a little tiny bit of water back in my hair to just help soften it up because that rice water kind of made my hair feel hard a little bit but when I put that herbal essence um, conditioner in that orange bottle I use that as my leave-in I have like five of those those conditioners I use them as leave-ins and they work very well for my hair um, and then that made my hair like really soft so I'm using that same conditioner that I used to put in my overnight deep conditioner I'm using it for a co-wash um, I own like 20 of those bottles and I love that stuff for a co-wash. You can see how my curls are like super chunky, look like jerry curl curls, but that's that deep conditioner, those benefits from that deep conditioner. Um, and I don't use any heavy products with oils or anything that can't be, you know, water soluble or rinsed out. So I don't have to use very harsh shampoos. I think I'm going to start using anything sulfate or low sulfate or no sulfate just once a month. Maybe at the beginning or the end of the month on my hair. Because I don't want to shampoo every single time. And I used, um, I made some DIY African black soap shampoo too. And I like that. So I'll probably use that about once a month. Unless I have braids or something and I feel like I need to shampoo my hair. But yeah, the rice water um, is good. I've used that particular rice water. I think that was my third time. And then I'll pour some over my hair and then whatever's left, I'll pour it back in the bottle and keep it. So I think I'm going to use it one more time and then I'm going to pour it out and then make new um, rice water. Because I have a demi color in my hair and it kind of tinted the water and stuff like that but anytime I use it my hair is clean so it's not like it has like old product built up and stuff in it um, you can see that definition in my hair it's just because my moisture levels are so high and up there that's what I want hair goes so here's the white spot I'm dipping my ends in it and just kind of squeezing out the leftovers this is kind of the way that I prefer to do it and it was cold because it was in a refrigerator and that water was running down my back but it kind of felt good because the shower water was hot so yep yeah, I think I'm going to just do this every week just do the rice water thing and I just pour it in my hair let it run through my hair and I only pour it a little bit at a time try not to waste any of it um I think I've noticed a difference I really have noticed a difference since I've used it only three times so 
I am going to keep doing that and you can see I just kind of took my hands and added a little bit of water into my hair and then that is my leave-in those herbal essence conditioners are the bomb like I'm telling y'all if you need a good leave-in conditioner and your hair is about my texture get those and use those as leave-ins like you will really love them or even you can use them as deep conditioners but that those herbal essence and the other herbal essence conditioners that I use for my deep and the Aussie, those are my straight up staples so I poured the what was left in that cup back into that bottle and I'm going to use it one more time so I'm just showing you that leave-in that I used in my hair and then that Shea Moisture Daily um, moisturizing conditioner that stuff um, it's my first time using it I actually like the way it smells and how it worked with that herbal essence conditioner I actually liked it it made my hair very soft I want to try to use it with a wash and go and maybe even do an overnight deep conditioner with it but that stuff made my hair feel super moisturized and I didn't think it would because it's a daily so I thought it wouldn't be strong or thick enough but I actually like it and it has a nostalgic smell it smells exactly like the old formula pink moisturizing oil and I used to use that stuff faithfully back when I was 14 and 15 years old I mean the smell is just it just took me back like a time warp and it smells so good so I think I want to buy the big bottles and I might buy the shampoo and the leave-in conditioner I already have the coconut oil so I'm going to get more of that because I love it so that's my regular growth oil that I'm putting in my hair um, I never normally put oil in my hair because my hair is getting thicker and longer I thought I'd better and it's still a little cold outside and I'm protective styling so I'm gonna go ahead and use the oil these days just to seal in my moisture and to help maintain the moisture and prolong the moisture since my hair is not out um, I feel like my hair is kind of getting tired of being out in the wash and goes. It just needs to be swaddled like a baby um, to kind of protect it a little bit, especially since I trimmed my ends. So we're just kind of doing an experiment, just kind of testing it out. So I'm just kind of just taking sections freely, like free-handedly, grabbing hair, combing and just twisting it. It's not any real um, way or order of doing this. I'm just kind of grabbing hair and twisting it and twisting it all the way to the ends. I actually started off these sections like really, really small and I forgot that I wasn't just doing regular individuals, but that I was doing the chunky ones to pin them up. So I started over and redid the sections and my hair felt really really good as far as using that orange conditioner is leaving which I've done several times they have the I have the green one the purple one and the black one of those herbal essence conditioners and I've used all of them as leave-ins and they are really good I'm gonna have to go back and see there's a couple more that I didn't get I basically got these other ones just off the smell which is kind of vain but love products that smell good so I think I'm going to go back and get the rest of them just because of how I like those I think I would like the other ones but they are really good as far as um, leave-ins I, I really like them say this little piece up here in the front is my nappy patch you know people have a kitchen in the back of their hair like their nappy patch of hair or in the middle mine's is right there in the front in my bangs and that stuff had my bangs defined smooth and you can see those curls was popping when I ran that comb through it so that's how I know that my hair is moisturized because my curls clump very well look at that Yes, yes, yes. And my hair felt so good and soft and smooth and silky all the way down to the ends even with those conditioners in my hair. So I will definitely be sticking with that combination even when I wear my wash and goes and stuff like that. I really, really, really like that combination of the daily, Shea Moisture Daily conditioner with the Purple Essence. And that stuff I spray in my hair is water and Aussie Moist Conditioner mixed together. 
that's been my staple like spray that I use to spray on my hair whenever I need to keep it wet um, when I'm twisting or whatever like some type of natural hair when I am rolling my hair to where it's straight I use set motion but that is like the set motion for natural hair for me it's the icy moist and the water mixed together it just makes like the perfect mixture my hair never feels gooky or built up or anything is soft and shiny so that icy moist and water is like a perfect spray that you can use to spray on your hair instead of just plain old water i feel like you know add a little conditioner to it just to give your hair an extra boost of moisture when it start to dry out as you're twisting i'll see moist and water almost done i think i have one twist left And I think all together this process probably took me about maybe 20 minutes. It didn't take too long. When I twist my hair in the itty bitty twist, the small ones it take it could take me like two hours to twist my hair, believe it or not. And I don't feel like I move slow. But yeah. I was listening to Dietrich Cadden and he was jamming. All done. Little baby twists. So yeah guys that is it and I will come back and show you at the end of the video how I um, I went and sat under the dryer for about a half hour hour actually um, to see the definition and shine and smoothness but yes I will come back at the end and show you how I pin my twist up and how I'm gonna wear it for the day all right It is Colorful Queen Beauty. My t-shirt says all I need is mascara and coffee. My leopard print leggings. My house shoes. One of my clients made these for me. They are so comfortable. I'll have to tag her information down below. But there's like a little bow on the back. They are so cute and comfortable. Like so cute and comfortable. But um, I am wearing my hair in these twists. Um, I'm sure I'm going to include this part in that video. But I am wearing my hair in these twists because I have devoted to doing a month. I want to try to do at least 30 days of protective styles like these kind of twists. Because um, I'm doing this little experiment on my hair to see if it responds to um, like growth because of vitamins because of protective styles you know all that kind of stuff i even got the rice water that i showed you guys earlier in the video um this is fermented rice water this i've used it twice on my hair and i think i'm going to try to use it one more time but um i'll have to make another video on how i made this but you can also uh, youtube it like fermented rice water for hair growth um and see what all you have to do is really just you rinse the water off organic rice you rinse it off really good and then you put more water back in the rice like in a separate bowl and then you let it sit for about I guess like 30 minutes or I think some people yeah about 30 minutes you let the rice sit in the water kind of massage the rice to get the nutrients out or to get it going and then you let it um, you pour it in a bottle like this and then you let it sit out for two to three days some people do even longer um, the longer you let it sit the more fermented it is but it has like this white stuff at the bottom you can't see it or oh, there goes some of it oh that's rice um, but it normally has this white foamy stuff at the bottom um, and that's supposed to be all the nutrients of rice water um, if you google it there is a um, country or a city in China where the women do this and they've not they've been known for uh, having the longest hair like in the world guinness book of records and stuff like that because they rinse their hair with white water they don't shampoo they don't do a lot of that other stuff that we do to our hair and it actually preserves the ends you see length retention it moisturizes keeps the hair moisturized and stuff like that so i've been trying this thing too but i have it in this bottle um and you keep it in a refrigerator to stop the fermentation um it will smell sour but 
I mean that goes away when you put it in your hair so I've experimented with doing this I pour it in this bowl as you see me in the video to dip it my ends in there and to pour it over my hair um, so I'm going to reuse this water one more time you can add essential oils and coconut oil and stuff like that to it if you want I chose not to this is just straight fermented rice water um, I started back taking my hair vitamins I'm gonna try to stay consistent with those um, with that I trimmed my ends before like um, not even a week ago when I trimmed my ends so I'm trying to do this thing to see if this stuff really does make your hair like grow but I mean I take care of my hair anyway like I baby my hair I'm deep conditioning every week I keep up on my trims when I'm trying to let it grow out long I always darken my hair color I had color in it if you remember um, last year I'll insert a picture I had like purple blue green all kind of color highlights but I've since darkened my hair a few times down with demi colors to um, cover my ends and to make them not be so dried out from the color especially since we just got through the winter um, I like my hair to be dark when I'm trying to get it to grow out and my ends are always like you know I try to keep them trimmed so that there is no overhang with split ends I despise a person that does not like to get their ends trimmed as a hairstylist that is just so important to me if you want length um, if you want long hair you have to cut you have to trim your hair there is just no way around it but I like to baby my hair it's just time that I take out for myself um, so yeah but I'm doing the rice water I'm taking my vitamins I'm doing protective styles um, I normally just wear wash and goes and so my uh, I did actually I went and took out every single hair accessory that I own they were all just kind of doing whatever because back from when my hair was short you know I didn't have enough hair for all of this stuff but these are literally all like these types of things and you know like these things with the stretchy combs like these are all hair combs like some of these are hair clips like these are literally just a whole, you know, banana clips. These little things that I want to wear. Um, but mostly in here are these side combs, which I live by when I want to hold my hair up. I do not use bobby pins. I use bobby pins to hold my twist in place or just to put a little bump in the top. But this is just a whole bucket full of nothing but side combs. So I keep that here in the bathroom on my sink and then um oh i forgot i had this demon brush right here i could have used that earlier when i was doing my hair um and then i have these which are like you know the other types of I'm supposed to get in there just like all these little things i had these in my hair when i took down my style from last night before i showed you guys how i decondition my hair now these are what i'm going to use to clip my um my twist up i'm not going to leave them down because i really want to go protect like textbook protective style so I don't want to use bobby pins I want to use these clips and I'm going to show you how I do that but I got all of these little things from like um five below here these came from Target like I've been having these literally forever I'm surprised they ain't fell apart but any kind of little cute bobby pin with a little design on it you know I have in here like these are all different kinds of like barrettes but these are so cute you know when you want to just accessorize your hair um you know just like you know just all different kinds like this is for if you want to just pin your hair up like a lot of asian and hispanic women wear these they are so pretty in the hair um but yeah just a lot of these cute little clips that i now have because i have hair before when I didn't have any it was like what's the point of having these like these are just so cute to just put in the hair so body pin and then I have these down here which this was I never wore it but it's one of those kind of headbands it's like a chain where you put it around and it kind of has the little chains that loop down like like lace across your forehead and then these I got from five below it's just two bobby pins that you wear on either side of your head and the chain kind of dips down in the back of the head and goes to the other side or across around the front and then this is one of those middle part um, little chains that you see like 
Khloe Kardashian wearing. The Kardashians wear these a lot. Um, and then I have my body pins in here. This is just a whole thing full of body pins. So I just like to be able to find my stuff. I don't like looking for stuff, but um, this is another type of little chain headband. I'll try these ones for you guys so you can really see what they look like, but they're really cute. And then I went and yeah, these are all of my headbands. Every single last, well not every single last, but these are all headbands that I want to just wear, you know, with my hair. These were all just kind of put up and somewhere. Like there's so many pretty ones up here that I have, you know, I haven't worn in a long time because they've just been stuck in the bottom of the bucket. And you know, like they're just so pretty. Like I am obsessed with these ones, y'all know. And a lot of these, some of these I bought from um like this one and this one. Um, a lot of these I bought from, uh, what's that place called? Hobby Lobby. And they're so cute. Like this one I made, I just put this little pendant on there. I sewed it on. Um, like a lot of these I've been having for a long time too. There's some back there that came from Hobby Lobby with the sparkles on them. Or the Chinese shop. This one I've been having forever, forever, forever. This one too. It's got lace in the top. You can just sharp it across the top. But like these came from Hobby Lobby. Like they're just so cute. Chinese shop. So yeah, it's just a lot of headbands up here. And I have them on these door peg hook things. It's like two at the bottom and two at the top. And they just hang over the door. And then these are the hard headbands, like the metal ones. Um, and I uh, got these or uh, these around Halloween. I have a silver one too. Ask me how many times have I worn these? Probably not a lot because I'm just so lazy with my hair. Sometimes I just do wash and goes. But a lot of these I've been having for a very long time and I just, if they, you know, break up or whatever, I just repack them back together with some good with a glue gun. But I need to take these out of here because they get abused and the rhinestones fall off and stuff like that. And they're just so pretty. Like, so this is all where I kind of did more of the hair stuff. These are all just ponytail holders of every different kind that you have ever seen in your life. It's just, just ponytail holders, you know, just the small ones. Um, these have glitter. This one is like a bow. These are like the hair ties. These are hair ties, but they are so from uh, Hobby Lobby. These come from like a Chinese shop. This one's so cute. Like, why do you need so many? Ponies, however, I'm obsessed, as you can tell. This one is so old that she just needs to be retired and just go to heaven, but I still keep her around. These two I bought from the Chinese shop. It came two brown and two black. The other two I put in my jewelry section so I can put it, wear it as a bracelet around my wrist. Yeah, so that's just ponytail holders. Then these are headbands and like puff. See, these are slightly bigger than the regular ponytail holders, but that's because they're good for like puffs. And then I have these hair ties, which are like the big, big ones, but they have cute designs on them. Um, so this is nothing but those like bigger headbands, see for like puffs. See how much bigger it is, but it's like the perfect size for your puff. And then this is the headband that I had around my bonnet to keep the oils from running out of my 
plastic cap with my deep conditioner overnight deep conditioners because the last time I did it um, I had oil and water all over my pillow because it seeped out from the back of the plastic bag like by my neck in the back so I put that headband around to keep all the oils and the water and stuff in from seeping out so that might be a good thing for y'all to do if you have that problem from laying on your hair and smashing all the oils out of it these are just headbands I got from the Chinese shop some of these go all the way around like this one is a hair tie and it goes all the way around some of these I made I have a pink one and a blue one like this but it's on a headband okay. and then I use these large rubber bands like I put oil on them first so that they won't like pull my hair but these large rubber bands Sometimes you can reuse them as puffs too, but I just oil it so that it can slide on my hair. I don't like to tell people to use rubber bands in their hair like if but this was before I was using those before they came out with these puff size bands because they're the exact same size. So I was using these rubber bands. I would buy them from like the store or the post office, but I would use them in place of these. So then they started making these and then I didn't need the rubber bands anymore. So now that they have these, you guys can buy these for your puffs. Because these are just too small. These are just regular ponytail holders and it's not going to stretch and hold your puff. Plus your hair is like super cool. These are workout headbands that I use. They have the nice slip grip. Um, um, these are good for like in the winter time when you're outside running and you need to keep your earbuds in your ears if you don't want to wear the big um, and they have the velcro on there, but you can also wear it as a hair wrap too And they have rhinestones on the front, but all of these are just workout headbands And I got them from five below you can see the non-slip grip On there and they come like three in a pack or whatever um, Yeah, so that's what these are and then these are just combs and brushes and then these are little hair accessories like with the clip bows on it you know you can probably wear these as brooches on your clothes oh there's this one so this is a brooch and a hair clip but i never wore brooches so this is really cute it's real glittery Some of these I've been having forever. Like these two are so old. Like they're elderly. This one, she's elderly. This one I made, it was it was on a headband, like a hard headband. And it just tore up, so I made it a clip. This one I've been having for a while too. It's so pretty. It looks really, really pretty on the side of your head. Um, here's another one of these. I got those from Forever 21. This came. Target or Forever 21. I used to have a silver one. I think my daughter tore it up. This used to be on a headband too, on a hard headband, and I just made a body pin out of it. Just, you know, just invented up some stuff. This is my fake bun that I never wear. It's got hair on it instead of a sponge. I feel like this is better because if your hair has gaps or it's not long enough, this would kind of make up for it, <clears throat> unless it's the wrong color. Um, this is another one and it came like this it's just a snap clip like that and this thing is so huge like you can see it's almost the size of my hand but it looks really cute like on the side of your head then I got these itty bitty things which I'll insert a picture of how I had in my hair when my hair was really short and it looked really cute and I have some authentic Chinese sticks they say they're a dollar but these things are so That's my little hair table with all my hair stuff. But so yeah, and I will come back guys and show you my hair when it's dry. 
Um, I am actually going to be wearing either a bandana or one of these headbands that I showed you um, on my hair, but I want it to get dry and then I'm just going to pin it back and I'm just going to pin all these up with those little clips that I showed you and I want the headband to just kind of sit right in here and all these are just going to be like pent up and I'm going to just wear them up and when I sleep at night I'm just going to take all the clips out because I don't want to sleep in those I don't want to sleep with my hair like bound and clipped up I feel like that weakens your hair and um, I'm going to just put a little oil on it at night before I go to sleep some of my growth oil which I got the recipe off of uh, have you ever guys ever heard of Shanta's way I'll link her page down below that's where I got the growth oil recipe from and um, just to kind of help with the growth and length retention process because I am trying to grow my hair longer than I've ever had it before. Like we trying to get down here and waist length. We trying to get like super long hair. I've never let my hair grow that long because it's hard for me to take care of. It's hard for me to trim it. When it gets a certain length, you know, I can't reach way down and trim my own hair. So this time I just took it piece by piece and I just pulled it out and I just clipped the little ends of it and I it was no uniform so if I wear it ironed out you may see a couple of different pieces but I don't care because I don't plan on wearing it ironed out maybe until the trim actually grows out till it's time to get another one maybe but I don't even want to put like I put heat on my hair about once a year never more than that if I ever wear a curly or roller set it's because I put the mesh rollers in there and sat under the dryer but that is um okay for the hair um, it's not the same as putting an actual appliance with heat on both sides of your hair um, <clears throat> that's where you get heat damage you can't get heat damage from sitting under a hair dryer with rollers like it has to be super hot for that to happen but I just don't believe that that can happen honestly doing hair for 22 years I don't think a hair dryer is hot enough to damage your hair as long as it's on rollers now if your hair is out and you running your fingers through your hair like it's being a like a blow dryer then yeah you probably can have damage from roughing up your cuticle but if your hair is set on rollers it's smooth it's set and it's not being touched or bothered under the dryer it's the heat appliances that we apply to both sides of the hair and we take a long time to straighten it or curl it we let it sit that's when you get heat damage pressing combs flat irons and stuff like that with no heat protection sprays and stuff so that's the only way that I really wear my hair straight is with the um, with the rollers but I don't put extra heat on it um, I may try to do it again and then just do bantu knots or two strand twists I flat twists I've done that before and it turns out really pretty so I don't I'm just on this kick where I want to see how long my hair can get if I just do a month at a time of just protective styles rinsing it with the rice water keeping my ends trim and um, moisturize I'm going to still do my deep conditioners every week overnight I've this is my fifth time natural and I've always done overnight deep conditioners every week even when my hair was this short I still did it because I feel like any amount of hair past your scalp is you know hair that you need to take care of and plus you just have to take care of your scalp because if your scalp which is skin if that's in bad condition it's going to produce bad hair I don't care how short your hair is what you do to it if your scalp is not in good condition it cannot produce healthy hair so I like to keep my scalp you know people neglect their scalp but all they worry about is their hair you can't do that you have to work get you know protect all of it so that's what I am going to be doing but um so I'll come back when my hair is dry and show you guys how I pin it up and stuff in my hair so I will talk to you guys later okay.